Hey, it's Even Ball coming at you from in front of the camera this time. Today we are going to be modifying this VIC-20 for S-Video playback. Ordinarily the VIC-20 only has composite playback or at least RF playback, but if you modify this, you can get S-Video from out of the video port right here. The chip inside actually natively supports S-Video, but they dumb it down for older televisions. So, I will show you exactly what we're going to be doing to do this modification. There are already some instructions online on how to apply this S-Video mod. This one from SleepingElephant.com shows one for a common motherboard revision called a Revision N. My motherboard's a different revision, but the same basic principle applies. From the factory, the chroma and luma signals that would normally make up the S-Video signal are connected together instead of being apart. Now we are going to sever that connection with this modification. Okay, well I have the motherboard of my VIC-20 out on the desk here, and I have a Revision F motherboard. Now most of the online tutorials show a Revision N motherboard, and uh, that's a lot newer than this one. However, this one looks like it will lend itself to the mod very well. Basically, what I have to do is connect pin 2 of that chip to this capacitor and then this 75 ohm resistor. And then connect that to this, no actually it's this one, this pin on the uh, DIN 5 connector. Okay, as you can see, I have finished the mod here, and I started by pulling out four components. First one I pulled out was FB9 over here, a little inductor, and right next to it is a small capacitor that goes straight to ground. I decided to pull that one out as well. And after I pulled that out, I also pulled out C29 right here, and a small inductor that went from here to here, right across. Um, now, that inductor, w pulling it out, severs the connection between pin 4 and pin 5. It, it, it would have, in effect, made them the same signal. So I have to, I had to pull it out. And what I have done is I put in a small capacitor right here, the 0.1 microfarad capacitor, and I put in the 75 ohm resistor right here, because this connects, it jumps over to here. And, but the resistor, instead of plugging it in here, I've, I have it spread out all the way to here where I have pulled out the, the small inductor. And this goes directly to our pin 5 of the AV pinout. This jumper here supplies pin 4 of the AV pinout. And this is basically our Luma signal and this is our Chroma signal. And between the two we now have an S video signal coming out of the back of the at uh, the VIC-20. So now all I need to do is make a custom cable and then we're finished. Alright, now I'm done with the cable and this is what I've come up with. It's a little bit short but I can lengthen it. This has a DIN 5 connector on the end of it. I purchased this at Fry's. It's just a small kit. It's only about 99 cents. And I purchased these two cables at a, uh, at a thrift store at some point, and uh, these were just scrap that I had left over from other projects. So I just put them all together, and I have this beautiful cable. And now we are ready to play some games. Okay, I have some games here. Let's start off with K-Star Patrol from CBS Software. This is a kind of a fun little game. You are, it's a shooter, it's a horizontal, well, yeah, it's a, uh, it's a horizontal shooter and you are trying to protect a fleet of spaceships. Each one that gets killed is, is one, out of your, uh, one out of your reserve killed. So you're trying, you, you have to keep them alive as long as possible and rack up points. And it's uh, actually quite a little bit of fun. I've uh, played it for a few minutes here and there and I've had quite a bit of fun with it. Okay, and the next game is Voodoo Castle. Voodoo Castle is quite a fun little game. It is a text adventure, and you have to type in SYS32592 in order to get the, the game started. 
it runs in text mode on the uh, on the operating system. But uh, it's it's kind of a fun little game. If you look up FAQ online, it's only like a page long, so it's not a very long game. But uh, yeah, I've had some fun playing it. It says it's dedicated to all moms for some reason. I'm not sure why. Okay, and the next game is Mole Attack. And this is uh, pretty simple. It's just whack-a-mole. Although, if you hit uh, if you hit these other things that kind of look like moles turned turn around, uh, it, it deducts from your score. So you've got to try and uh, keep that from happening. Um, it's actually kind of a pain to play. You have to hit the right keys, and the keys are in the middle of the keyboard. I'm not really having a whole lot of fun playing it, but it's, it's kind of at least interesting. All right, and the next game is Seamus. And uh, this cartridge actually has a broken plastic tab on the inside, so I had to pull out the circuit board in order to get it to work. And I, I was able to plug it in, and it works just fine. Seamus is a clone of a classic arcade game, Berserk. And it is quite a fun game, actually, although the randomizer, it, it randomizes all the enemy placements in the, in the level. And sometimes they can just bunch them all into one space, so that's kind of a pain. But uh, the game looks pretty good, and it handles quite a bit of sprites. Maybe about uh, 10 sprites or so, uh, enemy sprites. And there are no hardware sprites on the VIC-20. It's all doing that in software, so that's actually very, a pretty amazing uh, game. Alright, the last game, and I do have it in the box is Apple Panic. And Apple Panic is, uh, well, it's it's a maze game like Load Runner. Uh, it takes a lot of after Load Runner, but it's actually kind of a pain to play. Your character's always making noise with every single step he makes. And it's also kind of really, it's really tough to climb up and down the ladders. You have to position yourself perfectly to get up and down those ladders. So if you're in a hurry to get away from an apple, you can be pretty certain of your death. Uh, so, it's it's not. I'm not having a whole lot of fun. I mean, it's not a terrible, terrible game, but I'm not having as much fun with it as I thought I could. Well, after that, I actually do have one more game, but I can't play it yet. Treasure Raiders is on a cassette tape. And uh, I'm having a lot of trouble finding out anything about this. I can't find any footage of it online. And I, I downloaded a pack of games for the VIC-20 and I couldn't find this in that pack of games either. It has been mentioned on, on some forums and, and such before, but I haven't seen anything about it. So it's possible I could have an undumped game here, uh, but until I can get a data set uh, for the VIC-20, I won't be able to play it. Hopefully I'll be getting one of those soon, and when I do, I'll be doing a small review of this game. Okay, there you go. The S-Video output on the VIC-20 is complete, and it was a pretty easy modification. So, uh, until next time, thanks for watching.